prayer that is prayed with full assurance of salvation and faith, combined with righteousness and persistence, is what brings result. Get rid of guilty conscience and put on the good news of the gospel of God's love, mercy, and forgiveness. Romans 5 verse 16 says, And there is a difference between God's gift and the sin of one man. After the one sin came the judgment of guilty, but after so many sins comes the undeserved gift of not guilty. Not guilty is the good news. You are not guilty of any sin that is dead and inactive in your life. You are only guilty of sins that you cling to and refuse to give up and repent from. You are not guilty of ancestral curses and covenants. The blood of Jesus wiped them out. You are not guilty of parental sins. The blood of Jesus washed you white as snow. You are not guilty of personal sins in your past that you have forsaken and renounced. You were washed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Constantly thank God, celebrate, and rejoice. It's a glorious salvation and redemption. 2 Peter 1 verse 9 says, For he who lacks these things is short-sighted, even to blindness, and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins. You were cleansed from old sins, so it's an act of ingratitude to go back to what you were cleansed from. Cling to your freedom and liberty. Stop allowing the devil to rule you. Jesus has defeated the devil. Jesus has defeated sin for you. Stop the fornication, worldliness, and immorality. Romans 3 verse 25 says, Whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed, Isaiah 53 verse 5 says, But because of our sins he was wounded, beaten because of the evil we did. We are healed by the punishment he suffered, made whole by the blows he received. If you were sacrificed to an idol, the good news is that you are free. You don't need to suffer for the sins and mistakes of your ancestors and parents. However, you must not have any point of contact with anyone worshipping the idol that you were sacrificed to. Worship of idol is worship and celebration of death, destruction, hell, the grave, wickedness, and evil. Stop your association with spiritual criminals. Go and learn about point of contact and demonic gateways. Never ever cling to people or things that are dedicated to demons and idols. Don't cling to magical books and instruments or enchanted objects. Keep away from anyone that sacrificed you to demons and idols. Access to you helps them to constantly renew and perpetuate the sacrifice. Do not give toxic people access to you. Spiritual toxicity and abuse is even more deadly than the physical one, yet you tolerate it. Spiritual toxicity and abuse is silent, hidden, and very violent and deadly. The perpetuators are often very friendly, and pretense is their greatest weapon. Deception and lie is their highest weapon. They work for their father, who is the father of lies. Revelation 12 verse 9 says, And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world, he was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. They will be biting you spiritually and pretending to care, physically, but their mask will always slip. If you are observant, you will know that they secretly hate you and want you in the grave, just like Delilah and Judas. They come as angels of light. They come as friends. They come as physical relatives. But their allegiance is to their spiritual families. They have pre-birth memories. They know their spiritual identities and are not confused. However, you don't know your true self as a prince of light, so you fall into their net. The worst is if you begin to commit fornication with them. You are now in the devil's pocket through foolish fornication or foolish emotional, deadly falling in love with Satan's agent. Matthew 13 verse 38 to 39 says, The field is the world, and the good seed is the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. The Bible clearly tells you that the devil planted his children into this world. Do not be deceived. 
Delilah was a marine agent from the Kingdom of Darkness. Learn how to identify the spiritual Judases, Delilahs and Pharaohs planted into this world as agents of hell and the grave. Keep away from anyone that is force-feeding you with spiritual poison. Keep away from anyone that is chaining you to the world of the dead with demons. There is always a link that links you with the world of the dead. There is always a demonic gateway for demonic harassment. A human being can be the link and point of contact because he or she is the one invoking demons on you and chaining your soul to the world of the dead. If you want to successfully bind those demons, keep away from your spiritual pharaoh. Keep away from anyone that wants you in the grave. Protect yourself. God has set you free from idols, but do not go and live in the house of a witch doctor or family priest or priestess giving blood to the family idol. There must be physical and spiritual separation from anyone that is sacrificing and re-sacrificing you to demons. Don't have any association with family idol, family pharaoh, and family slave master. You are free. Do not go back into bondage. When David discovered that Saul wanted him in the grave, he did not go back into Saul's house to live with him. That very act would have been self-sabotage and self-destruction. Do not go back to Egypt to beg for bread. Do not make it easy for the household witches to put you in the grave. Keeping away from every point of contact means you putting on your garment of righteousness. Believing that the blood of Jesus set you free means you putting on your garment of faith. Persisting and thanking God in anticipation of answered prayers is you putting on your garment of faith. Thank God and rejoice even before the manifestation of your deliverance. Thank God and rejoice because your name is written in heaven. Constantly make melody in your heart to God. Pray without ceasing. Thank God in all circumstances. Do not be worried but present your petitions to God with thanksgiving, celebration, and rejoicing. Rejoice in the Lord always. If you put on the armor faith and righteousness and go into God's presence, you will see great result. If you move into the house of a witch doctor or the house of the family idol, priest, and priestess, you have destroyed your armor of righteousness because you are breaking the word of God. Do not be unequally yoked with any idol worshiper regardless of who the person is to you. You must separate from people who are spiritually violent and shed human blood. You must separate from cosmic criminals without being emotional. Samson's emotion was what tied him to Delilah and sent him to the grave. The devil is full of tricks. Do not let the devil outsmart you. Spiritual Delilah is any human that is selling you spiritually to demons and idols and betraying you, while at the same time pretending to care for you. Obey the word of God and pray fervently for deliverance. If you do not ask, you will not receive. Always combine faith and righteousness. If you refuse to constantly thank God for setting you free and declaring you not guilty, you are breaking your armor of faith. If you refuse to pray, you have refused to go to spiritual battle. If you refuse to separate from idol worshippers, you are breaking your armor of righteousness. When you put on the complete armor of God, spend time with God in prayer and seek His face and power. Put on the armor of faith and righteousness and pray for full baptism of the Holy Spirit and power. Constantly plead and invoke the blood of Jesus. Soak your life, house, foundation, and destiny in the blood of Jesus and Holy Ghost fire. Never underestimate the importance of faith and the Word of God when it comes to spiritual warfare. Faith is an armor of God. The Word of God is an armor of God. The prayer of faith and the prayer of a righteous man is highly effective. Put on the good news. Put on the gospel. The Bible says that those who believe will not be put to shame. Confess the power of the blood of Jesus over your life and silence every power of hell bringing shame and dishonor into your life. Romans 10 verses 10 11 says, For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. 
May God cut off the powers of your enemies and detain them. May God surround you like a wall of fire. May God take you into his perfect will. May God fill you with his wisdom and power. May God permanently destroy the roots of your problem. May grace, mercy, and peace be yours in full measure, in Jesus' name. Amen.